Memphis, a six-point favorite in Jonesboro, Arkansas, against Arkansas State. Arkansas State had some trouble with Central Arkansas last week. Memphis, you know, Grant Gunnell was supposed to be the starting quarterback this year. Uh, it's going to be Seth Hennigan instead because Grant has got, uh, he's had to have surgery. It looks like he's going to be out for a while. At starting a freshman quarterback, first start on the road. You know, it does scare me a little bit. This line has crept up. It opened at four. It's up to six now. But Memphis continues to find running backs, man. That kid that they've got now is a speed demon. The The offensive line and defensive line do not look all that bad, even with some of the transfers that they lost. I I think I'm going to ride with Memphis here. I think that they are the significantly more talented team here. Uh, remember last year, this was like a 20-point line. It was like a three-touchdown yep. line. And, and Arkansas State did cover. They kept it within like two touchdowns. But It's a different Arkansas State team, though, man. Yes. Like, not not comparable, dude. I, I do agree with that. I don't think that they are quite as good as they were last season. Now, of course, last season, I think they won, what, four games, three games? Like, nothing crazy. But uh, they, they, were, they, were a, they were just a drastic different team with Anderson and those big-ass wide receivers. Agreed. They do not have those same guys. Uh, I'm riding. I'm riding Memphis. I think anything under a touchdown, I feel really good about. And and honestly, I might would even go higher than that. But you know, I, taking six, like I, I will, I will give up six all day. Yeah, I th- I think I'm with you on that. I, I, we're gonna be the same again. I like Memphis. You're right. The trench play has been really good and really consistent. And we're we're going on like six years, seven years straight of Memphis running backs just being badass. Okay, we've just become a revolving door of little kids that are fast. They're small. That we don't have big, powering running back, but they they're fast. You're not if they get out in open speed, they're going to embarrass you. They just don't try to open field tackle. You you just got to corral them and run them out of bounds or trip a leg. Because if you try to square them up, you're going to end up on your face. This yes. is what they do. Yes, yes, you are not wrong about that. You are not wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.